uh, I'll just uh, go through a brief introduction to the CAPS examination, the pattern of the exam, how it would be. This is, this is very important, uh, guys. Listen carefully. Can you all able to see the slide? Yes. So, so uh, uh, the main thing for the CAPS examination, uh, you need to. You will be having two papers: the paper one and paper two. So in individual paper, like in paper one and paper two, you need to score 50% in each paper in order to pass the oral exam. Like, for instance, if a candidate has passed the paper one and uh, has failed the paper two, that is unable to score 50% in paper two, then the candidate need to resit for paper two again in order to get the CAP skills assessment letter from the Australian Pharmacy Council. So like each paper, like paper one and paper two, they have got the different components in it. So I'll quickly go through all the components of the paper one and paper two. So in paper hi, one. Paper one. Hi, hi, Arish, sir. I have a question here. May I ask now or I can yeah, ask sure, later? Sure, 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 sure. I mean, uh, I, I mean uh, you can ask, I think, later on. Once you finish, okay, okay. You, you just yeah. note down your question. Yeah, yeah, OK. Yeah, no worries. I, I'll ask later then. Yeah, yeah. sure. That's, that's all good. So paper one consists of chemistry, physiology, and pharmacology. Like the first time when you go and uh, sit uh, in the examination, the first question that you face on the computer screen will be chemistry questions. So for at least for the first 15 to 20 questions will be completely on the chemistry. So sometimes it may be 20 or it may be up to 25 questions. So it depends on uh, how or what questions that you get. But uh, roughly around uh, 15, 20, or up to 25 questions will be covered only from chemistry part. And then when coming to the physiology, so there would be, you can expect around 15 to 20 questions um, from the physiology and mainly from the pathophysiology part, that is the disease related uh, things. So they may ask you uh, some simple definitions like uh, what is dyspnea and uh, the meaning of the dyspnea or sometimes they may ask a complicated question like what happens in case of the right side heart failure and what happens in the case of the left side heart failure like they may ask you about the symptoms of right-sided heart failure and uh, the symptoms of the left-sided heart failure and the third and the most important part for paper one is the pharmacology so around um, 50%, more than 50% of the questions in paper one will be covered from pharmacology. So like, as I told you that uh, during the beginning, like uh, when you sit in front of the screen, the first questions on the screen will be from chemistry. Uh, and when once you finish all the chemistry parts, then you will be facing pharmacology questions, sorry, uh, pathophysiology and physiology questions. And after uh, you finish the physiology part, then the next part will be the pharmacology. That's why always we need to focus or emphasize on all the components, uh, in, that is chemistry, physiology, and pharmacology of the paper one, and make sure that at least we need to get 50% of it. Okay? Even if we get more, then uh, there is no um, any like uh, grading. So just uh, the assessment will be done like as a pass or fail. So. If we get 50% or above, then it is passed. If we get uh, even 49, then we will be considered as fail. Okay. So that's about the paper one. And then in paper two, you will be uh, asked the, about uh, pharmaceutics and therapeutics. So these two are the main uh, components in paper two. But to be honest, like, most of the students like uh, when they sit for the exam after finishing the exam so everyone they give the feedback that they can easily pass the paper one but the problem will be with the paper two so everyone will have the uh, problem mainly with paper two so it's mainly because in paper two uh, it contains the therapeutics part and in therapeutics part uh, the questions, it won't be like a direct question. So they try to um, ask a lot of indirect questions, especially uh, they might ask a few of the drug interactions. They may ask uh, 
uh, and there will be at the end there will be a case study you need to uh, solve the case study as well the same goes with therapeutics in case if you get around 60 questions in therapeutics then you need to score at least 30 out of it okay so the overall should be 50 in order to pass both the paper one and paper two and as i told you that in case if we fail any one of the papers like either paper one or paper two and that in that case only we need to sit for that paper not the whole examination 